Hello all. So now we'll be dealing with fast Fourier transform. So let's begin with the introduction. Introduction is first point is that the very first point is that it is not another transform. Okay, it is just an efficient way to compute DFT. So let me write FFT in an efficient way or algorithm. You can say. to compute DFT okay but the major advantage is with reduce computations so this is the very first point and it is not a transform it's just an algorithm Now, radix to FFT algorithms. What this radix signifies will be clear in a minute. So, radix to algorithms. Now we will be dealing with the two algorithms which we will discuss in this series are DIT. And another one is DIF. DIT means decimation in time. Okay, decimation means to divide or break. So it's decimation in time, and this DIF is nothing but decimation in frequency. And both these algorithms use divide and conquer approach now the approach is possible if we choose the signal length n such that so what is the approach the basic approach is that we have to choose i hope the yellow color is visible Yes, we have to choose the signal length n such that such that it can be factored like it can be factored like n equals so where n denotes the length okay this one of the signal that is r1 r2 up till rm if these factors are equal now if all the factor that is r1 equals r2 and so on up till rm is let's say equals to r then simply we can write n equals r raised to m So this factor n, this quantity, so uh, r raised to m, this factor n is given by r raised to m. So what is r? r indicates the radix. So whatever is our title that is radix 2, it means this, where radix is denoted by this r. And now the most practical implementation for our choice is for r equals to 2 and that is the reason we are dealing with radix 2 algorithms so we call them radix 2 algorithms means what we will do clearly we have n equals 2 raised to m so the efficient computation is achieved by breaking the n point dft so suppose we have length of the signal is n so we have n point dft so n point dft we will break into 2 so we will break into to n by 2 point dfts so n point dft we will break into 2 n by 2 point dft similarly so this is one n by 2 point dft this is one then again this n by 2 point dfts are broken into n by 4 point dfts and this process will continue we will continue this okay 
until which point until two point dfts are obtained all this point will be cleared when we deal with particular algorithm this is just an introductory part so uh, that's all for intro introduction part now let us revisit some of the trivial factor properties that we will frequently encounter in our discussion of FFTs. So the first one is let me write on a different page. So the first one is symmetry property. It says that Wn is to k plus n by 2 equals e power 2 pi by n into j into k plus n by 2. I am just giving you the proof. So just 2 pi by n into k into e raise 2 minus j 2 pi by n into n by 2. So here n n will cancel, 2 2 will cancel and we get e raise 2 minus j pi. Okay, which is nothing but minus 1 so we get minus wn raised to k since this is minus 1 and this is our original wn so we get wn raised to k so the property is wn raised to k plus n by 2 equals minus of wn raised to k this is our simple property now the second one which is periodicity property I am not proving it simple for n point dft we have wn raised to twiddle factor raised to k plus n is nothing but twiddle factor raised to k and one more which is important e raised to minus j 2 pi by n times 2 and what can we write it we can write it like e raised to j 2 pi by n by 2 is it so yes so it can be written as wn by 2 so simple property is wn square is nothing but the 2 will be reflected in the division okay factor with n so this is one more property so this three properties we will frequently encounter so just we have revisited it so from next lecture we will be starting with very first algorithm called DIT FFT algorithm. Thank you.